7.53, welcome back, everybody. I'm just having a little chat here uh, about an upcoming event uh, with uh, Justice Robert Baudouin. How are you? I'm fine. From the Ontario Superior Court judge, but you're not here as a judge today. No, I'm not. Good thing. <laughs> With this crew, <laughs> because uh, you got a, a lawyer, what's called a lawyer play fundraiser, and you, uh, a bunch of you, you guys, uh, lawyers, are involved in uh, a production of His Girl Friday. Exactly, it it's runs April twenty sixth through twenty eighth. Yeah, uh, and there's a preview night on April twenty fifth. Uh, the funds, we have, the lawyers have been doing this for 13 years. Exactly, this, our, this is year 13, right? You got it. Yeah. I think we've raised close to a million dollars over the 13 years for the uh, community through the GCTC is right? and its charity projects. Yeah. yeah. Um, you've got uh, justices like yourself, judges, yep. lawyers, yep. paralegals. Yep. And a lot we, of people we, get involved? And, well, we also get cameo roles. So, oh. for example, this year, some of the confirmed cameo roles are Senator Mike Duffy, right. uh, MPP Yasser Nakvi, oh, yeah. uh, our regional senior justice, uh, Charles Hacklin, my boss. Right. So uh, He's your boss? Yeah, well, sort of. Yeah. It's hard to have a boss He's, for a judge. But right, he, right. <laughs> I thought once you're a judge, you're the boss of everything. Well, <laughs> that's another story. Yeah. But anyway, uh, every night we have uh, two cameo performances, and we'll have those confirmed pretty soon. Yeah, but uh, for the, for the most part, is it all uh, people in in the um, uh, in, yeah? In it's legal, mostly uh, lawyers yeah. and 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 a few judges every year. We manage. To is do it, it is it tough to get these people together to, to rehearse? And it's tough because we're all busy people and uh, trying to find the time, especially towards the end right now, we're getting close to opening night and the rehearsals are pretty intense. So yeah. uh, my morning has started now and we'll be going till 10 o'clock tonight. We have a long rehearsal. Tonight. Plus uh, you're a very busy judge in the Superior Court, right? Yeah, yeah, You exactly. were telling me uh, just before we came on here that uh, Superior Court judges move around yeah. in, in the region, correct? Yeah, we're in the East region and actually Ottawa is the center, but there are actually 10 centers. We go all the way from Belleville up to Lorignal and to Pembroke, so I'm we interested. can be assigned to any of those places. I'm interested, uh, Mr. Justice, because, well, <laughs> it's, this is one of the first time I've talked to a judge outside of a courtroom, really. Um, when it comes down to it, though, when you get lawyers involved in a play, I mean, aren't uh, lawyers good actors sometimes? Well, I think they have to be. <laughs> Uh, you know, I mean, no, when you think seriously, about it, though, that's I'm, true, I'm right? quite serious about yeah, that, yeah. especially if you're a litigator, and there are a lot of litigators who tend to try out for these roles. Yeah, you need to have a certain degree of performance when you appear before court. Absolutely, and there's a lot of mental preparation in terms of rehearsing what it is that you want to tell the court. Well, oftentimes so, we hear the term theatrics in a courtroom. Well, and that, that's not an unfair comment. And you've certainly seen your fair share, I bet you. Exactly, and not necessarily <laughs> from lawyers. No, no. <laughs> What's it like being a judge? That sounds like it's a, a interesting. Good job. Yeah. It's a good job. It's a, it's a very responsible job. Sure it's it a is. hard job, but when you, I think it's a privilege to be appointed a judge, and I think you're always mindful of that yeah. uh, when you enter the courtroom. Yeah. It's, it, to, be, to be fair at all times, it's got, it's got to be a tough job. It's tough, but as long as the lawyers do their job, it's not nearly as hard. I suppose it? you can only base your decisions and what happens on, on what's presented before you, right? Exactly. You have to decide on the record, and that's a bit of a frustrating thing because yeah. sometimes what is reported in the press isn't about always. a story isn't necessarily have to do with the evidence we actually heard in court. I like it. I think that's interesting. And I like what you guys are doing. There's His Girl Friday is... Uh, there's a preview performance on the 25th. That the 25th. Now, yeah, that's what we call the the the, the cheap night. The tickets are $35. only thirty-five dollars. Yeah. On the other nights are what we call gala performances. Right. Those tickets are a hundred dollars, but you get a charitable receipt for fifty dollars. Fair enough. Plus, there's uh, drinks at reception, and there's a food and cocktails afterwards, and you get to meet the cast. So. Yeah. It's a good deal. And you're doing it, uh, your charity is the Zambia School Project, which is obviously building schools in Africa. It's building a school in Africa, and in particular, this one is pretty close to me because it's in memory of our son. Uh, our son was a lawyer, and he died in 2008 suddenly of myocarditis. And I think it's uh, a tribute to the legal community that it tries to uh, commemorate its own. Yeah. This is the second time that That's the lawyer nice. play uh, commemorates a lawyer. Uh, who passed away uh, years ago? Catherine McLean, if yeah. you recall, oh, yes. was killed uh, in a hit and run yes. incident. We raised money for a scholarship in her memory that mm -hmm. year. This year it happens to be a school in Africa in memory of our son. 
We'll break a leg, sir. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Justice uh, Robert Baudouin joining us this morning. Uh, his girl Friday, lawyers that get involved uh, and justices and so on, getting involved in putting on a great play uh, for a great cause starting uh, on the 25th. Uh, what's going on with your Air Canada flight today? Well, some pilots apparently aren't showing up to fly planes for Air Canada. We'll get the details coming up in a news update on the way. We'll be right back.